Welcome. We are going to install Arclinux B GNOME. At this point in time, we are booting straight into GNOME itself. But first we have to decide what to choose here. And this is the bias. Look, um, you, also, you have also the UFI look. The, sorry, it depends if you have an old machine or a new machine. So this is an older setup, but you can often choose this in your bias, in your systems when you boot up. So it might be possible you can, can have both. Now, there are other lines in here that might interest you. So this one is what we all normally use, but if you feel you have uh, problems or experience troubles, you can go and have a try at these lines. Then we boot up. If you have UEFI, you take the first line. You won't have any logo. Then you know you're booting in UEFI. All right. And then we are indeed in this uh, version of Arch Linux B in GNOME. And we see already the Bibata cursor here. And um, this is your GNOME, right? So escape. And we have a welcome app to, well, to greet you, to welcome you to the system. We point you in directions that might be interesting for you in the future, some social media stuff, and also a new button up here that says you have possible conflicts if you choose X cursor breeze and breeze, then it will conflict. We run Gpart at first, make sure that everything is clean. In my case, everything is already clean. And, and if you wanna relaunch, if you wanna first take a look around, you type Arco Linux, well, I have still have this QWERTY thing. Install Arclinux is here, so the Calamaris is here. The welcome app is gonna be here as well. Welcome, the W is here, there it is. Arclinux welcome, so you can always reboot, restart this thing and Calamaris. We're gonna run Calamaris, it's version 3.2.20. It's free of charge, it's working and it's providing uh, service to well, over 20 Linux uh, distros, I think. In this case, I am going to show you a message that might pop up, not always, it might pop up, and it says U-mount installation failed. It's actually a uh, benign uh, message. It means you have actually installed it. So if that pops up, just reboot, basically. That's the message. There are other videos going into depth uh, about all these possibilities, um, but basically choose your kernel, decide if you want to have NVIDIA and so on, right? So take a look at other videos about, um, I would recommend how to install Arch Linux and how to install Arch Linux D. I went into depth there and also videos about all the uh, different applications there are. There's so many Linux applications, this is not Arch Linux, right? This is Linux in general. Zoom can be installed on anywhere and any uh, system and so on and so on. Just click whatever you like. It's going to be installed, of course, if you've got internet. So internet connection is required. This is not on the ISO. Definitely not because there's a lot and lots of software on here. It would be probably going to exceed around mm, six, seven gigabytes give or take a gigabyte. Right, so development, choose whatever you like. And that's the point on Linux. There can be hundreds of uh, choices, and this is the B version. It's never intended to install, right, to download and install. It's always intended to be built. But yes, I know some of us are not quite ready to build things yet, but it can be done if you are up to it. And then you decide yourself if you want to have Office on there or anything else. So decide here in the drop down in the screens here what you like to install more besides the things you see here. Those will be installed always, right? <coughs> more internet stuff. Locale is pointing to the language of Calamares. If that one is in, in uh, Arabic, and then it's going to be also Firefox in the same language. Theming, 
all choices. Some of these choices conflict and there is a reminder here that if you choose this guy and that guy it's going to conflict but it's going to still install one of them, right? Not two of them and everything will be all right. Calamares won't crash. You'll just get the system, sorry, with one of them. And then we have the games. Games always interesting. This is gonna work out of the box. This is our Steam package. Th rather than doing pseudo pacman minus S Steam, install that one. Everything will be working. All right. Utilities. Take a look. Uh, take a look at all these things. Lots of stuff. Maybe you recognize some things. Google Earth maybe, and uh, decide to install it. Some fonts, get things, graphics, fonts. Go and have a look what it all is. And this is for us when we want to develop. We just need these guys. All the rest we don't need to develop. Next, choose your country and uh, the place to be. This is your time zone, right? Um, so, okay, London, no, Amsterdam, no, Paris. It's a game, right? So, really need to be very precise. And otherwise, don't like the game, click it here change maybe some settings here then choose your keyboard that's gonna be good for me Azerti and then we're going to choose our partitioning no swap 16 gigabyte of RAM no swap needed swap no hibernate a little bit for hibernation well for swap actually and this is really for hibernation I have 8 gigs of RAM so 8.8 .8 gigs of swap 10% more and last but not least is uh, the manual partitioning that you can do as well and don't forget you can encrypt as well so that means three options without encryption three options with encryption and then the manual partitioning so seven options and it's up to you to decide what to take next what's your name still know that one and then the password <coughs> login automatically or not and use the same password or not. You are no longer needed. Install. And then you have to wait, right? You have to walk away and wait. The more you've installed, the more you've selected there, the more it's gonna download, the more it's gonna install, the longer it's gonna take. And uh, the waiting is around here in 80% in at this point in time in this particular Calamares. Um, but it will install. Just walk away and let it do its job. Let's pause the video here. All right, the installation has finished. So we restart, done, and there we go. Let's boot into our newly installed operating system. Let's get rid of the welcome app, but uh, of course, if, the, if this is the first time, take a look at the major articles that we have there. How to start is gone now. Join us on Discord and on Telegram. You saw the icons at the bottom. F12, that's your Arknux B GNOME. We're at 5.513 Arch 1.1 on the ISO, all right? The first thing we all do is update our systems and Control c i'm not gonna do that but you'll see that there is a linux kernel already coming in right so we are already on the version 2 arch 1 arch 2 and then you might want to know and learn more about this particular desktop or you discover it yourself which is also very interesting to do or you go and have a look um, is there any knowledge i can use about gnome in there gnome articles so all our desktops are up here and every one of them has an installation file an installation article because it's Arcmix D right so another ISO you start with but doesn't matter where you start from you can actually learn gnome from Solus or from Ubuntu doesn't matter it's gnome it's a desktop but we have provided here with some of well the most asked questions, right? The facts of GNOME. So take a look, maybe there's something in there you need. All right, have fun.